They didn't believe me in 2020. They didn't believe me in 2022. And here we are moving into 2024. What do you think is going to happen? You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. I was able to tell you what happened before it did, not because of a crystal ball, but simply I've read the playbook. And when you do so, you are able to see what happens right before it does. In today's video, I'm going to explain exactly what's going on in that playbook so that you can make the best decisions for yourself. How does that sound? I want to talk to you today about the Federal Reserve, and I'm going to look at the past in what has happened related to interest rates. And knowing that, you can see that we are at the edge, right at the edge of something major coming. Some are saying in March of 2024, it's just around the corner. So let's begin by taking a look at this. It takes eight months on average from the last rate hike to the first rate cut so march that's right you could see the data being pulled up right here even what they uh, call the fed whisperer nick timoros the october payroll report and inflation report strongly suggests that the fed's last rate rise was in july the big debate at the next fed meeting is shaping up to be whether and how to modify the post meeting statement to reflect the obvious they don't need to actually do any more work right that's what this is all about. Now, I was telling people way back when, it seems like forever, but that during these periods of time, we would see higher inflation and the Federal Reserve was going to increase interest rates. I was called a fool. I was told, I was called every name in the book. And what happened? They increased interest rates. This did happen. This did occur after a period of euphoria. We saw the inflation finally coming through. I was told. It was transitory. Inflation was transitory. And I, I laughed at it and I laughed at it. But then I realized that this isn't any laughing matter because people believe it. And the YouTubers would pass that down into their other people until they flip flopped. And then they started, you know, going, oh, no, 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 you know, that's not what I said, blah, 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 blah. And they went through it. And that's truly unfortunate because uh, you can't just flip flop, but apparently uh, you can for some people. But anyway, this just tells us that we are in for a wild ride coming. Why is that? Because if we are going into rate cuts, you thought inflation was bad before? Just wait. Just wait, because it's going to be the enabler. It's going to be the gasoline on the fire. And it will fuel the flames of the inflation we are already experiencing. Look, you can use CPI and core PCE and all that nonsense. But everybody I know goes to the store and says, man, these things cost a lot. And that's the case. Services and goods. 12-month rolling number of global central bank hikes and cuts. We are now seeing the cuts happen. And we are no longer seeing the hikes overall. Okay, globally, you look around, this is what's happening. Take a look at this chart and this has already begun. My timing is impeccable, not because of some, you know, I, there's nothing to me. I'm looking at the raw data. I don't have anybody that I watch personally. I don't do that. I don't have any of them, none, zero. And I look at only raw data. And so this has been the case over this period of time. And this is the world that we are living in, a more inflationary environment. You cut rates, you create inflation. You print money, you create inflation. Let's be honest. And why should we deny this? It's, I, I'm, 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 I'm talking like this and I'm losing, my, I'm losing my mind here because it seems so obvious to me. And yet I see this happen all the time. I look in my analytics and it shows me all the videos where it says your subscribers are watching this. And I read the title and I look at the thumbnail and I, and I, mm. those who didn't listen in 2020, those who didn't listen in 2022 or 2024, Please pay attention to this. I'm going to show you these details that you need to know that will make you a better investor, that will make you better prepared for what's coming. Here we go. 
total rate actions from 81 central banks across the globe. More cuts now than hikes for the first time since January of 2021. And this is the case. We can experience this over a period of time, and it, it shows us what has happened, that we are now moving into easier policy. Why? Because they're saying inflation has come down to a degree, and the economies generally around the world are you know not as strong as they were before. That's usually what's... Uh, what I've seen anyway. The Fed gave no indication of a possible rate cut at the last meeting. That's true. That is absolutely true. But as the Fed whisperer says, we watch this and realize, no, they, they don't do that. They, they never do that. They start to twist their statements slowly but surely. First is the Fed whisper. He comes out. He says a few things. And then we move into, all right, now, oh, they changed that wording. They changed that wording. Okay, now we're going to start uh, cuts soon. Eventually, we're going to do it eventually. They, they react. How does the market react? Let's see it. Like what happens with bonds? They want the bond market to do half of the lifting. The heavy lifting, they don't want to, it to all be done by the Federal Reserve. They didn't want to bring interest rates up to more than 10%, right? They wanted the bond market. They wanted slowness to occur sort of automatically, let's say. Fed hikes after long pauses are rare. So it is possible. It is possible that you go into another event and they have to increase again, just like they did in the 1970s, for instance. Yes, it's possible, but not likely. All right. And so this is the uh, last hike. You can see that. I'm comparing that at the next hike where it was, how long the pause was, on, uh, shows us on the, on the right hand side there. And so this time around, some people are saying that, OK, they'll stop for a while and then they're just going to hike again. My thoughts on this are, number one, anything is possible. There's no question about it. But what do we know about central bankers? It's that they want to create more inflation. Doing this creates a divide in between the rich and the poor. And so who do they serve? You and I, right? No, not exactly. They serve their masters. And so when we see it during these time frames historically, unless we can see a major surge in inflation where it's just going off the wall. I'm not talking about 2020, by the way, because they never wanted to claim that, the, oh, that's supply chain. That, oh, that, that's all supply chain stuff. It doesn't have anything to do with the fact that we pumped out 40% of all currency in circulation in like a year and a half. Nothing to do with that. They, they think you are stupid. They think you are so stupid that they can do whatever they want and get away with it. I know you and I aren't part of that, but the general public, they believed it. They thought inflation was transitory. I mean, that that shows you what, what's going on. Look, Washington blinks as debt costs begin to bite. Increased spending on entitlements and interest could snowball in the coming decades, putting pressure on Washington to act earlier to rein in the deficits. So how can they do that? What like what what's an option that they have? Ah, if they cut interest rates, those interest payments, like you would have a mortgage payment, like you have a credit card payment, those would decline. And so you see, they're being squeezed right now. And so Perhaps we can see this for not just because of the consumer. They don't want to help the consumer. They don't care about the consumer, but to help their friends. And of course, perhaps they can do so through monetizing the debt. Print out the money and buy that debt up. That would create massive inflation. We've seen this before in history. So do you see where I'm going with this? I hope you do. I've been bringing this information each and every single day. I hope that you will join me here. If you want information on particular stocks and you want to be able to read into this um, really well, well, then you need some extra resources. One of those is Seeking Alpha. I'm not talking about the you know the generic Seeking Alpha website. You'll see some articles out there. You got to get the best stuff. So this happens to be the Alpha Picks part of their website. And you could see on the right hand side, this is their portfolio and how it has clearly outperformed the S&P, which has done very well, but it has outperformed that, if you can believe it or not. And so um, very clearly, they have some very good information to share. I'll put the link in the description. They've got their sale going on right now. You definitely want to check that out. The affiliate link is down below. 
And, of course, the comment of the day. I believe you, however. One would never know anything concerning spending money was a problem here in Southwest Florida. That's all they do. They are retirees. Yes, for some people, they're spending like it's the end of the world. They don't want to, you know, basically stop. And so that's the economy. It's always a mixed bag. What do you see? What do you think about that? I really like to know. Let's get that conversation going. As always, hit that thumbs up if you want to support the channel. And don't forget to come back tomorrow and I'll bring you the latest and greatest. Take care.